I want to share my story and to share the love of Jesus and just share uh, and let people understand that no matter what walks of life you come from, you could be somebody, you could be what God desired you to be. Absolutely. Wow. That's wonderful. How long have you been living in New York and what has that experience been like for you? Wow. I've been in New York for approximately 50 years. I've been here since about nine years old. I came here in April 1971 and I've gone through a lot of the enchilons of uh, different parts of New York. I've never, I've traveled out of New York, but I've never really officially left New York, moved away and came back. I've always been here. I love, I love the, uh, the atmosphere. I mean, it has ups and downs and different things that happen, you know, from time to time, but I love the lights. I love the, the excitement, the, the movement, uh, you know, the pace, uh, you have the suburbs, I'm in the suburbs and you also have the city. So they always, the city is called the Big ha Apple. They said the city never sleeps, you know. So I enjoy the balance, the um, the excitement and the atmosphere, the colors, um, the, uh, the skill, the, the way the people, you know, they do the designs. I, I love even the bridges, the way they design them. I just love the, the lights, you know, different things at nighttime, you know. So it's a lot of things to do in New York. It's a lot of fun. It, sometimes I go to different states and I always get so uh, excited to come back because um, in New York, you always have something to do. It's always something to do. On every corner, there's a store. You don't have to travel too far. You can walk, you can run, you can skip, you can hop. You, you, you could drive, it's a choice. You could take a train, you could take a bus, you could take the uh, subway, different ways to get around New York. So it's, it makes it uh, so much easier and, and much more fun and so much uh, intriguing and so enlightening to everybody that comes here. Wow, that's wonderful. You're very studied, um, you have several degrees, and you've also worked in the education sector there for, I think it's in excess of 20 years. Am I correct? Yes. Yes. What has, what, um, tell us about the educational experience that you've had there, both when you were having your learning experience, as well as when you were contributing to other people's learning experience. What was that like for you in New York? Well, um, I, as I, I'm not sure if I said this before, but I started teaching from when I was a very young girl. I was about 14 years old. And I didn't really have a passion for teaching until later on down the road. But my passion was to become a secretary. But I used to teach in my father's, when my father was a pastor uh, in Yonkers, New York, I used to teach the Sunday school there, and I used to enjoy teaching the little children from ages, uh, they were like baby stages to about nine years old. So I had a lot of fun doing it, but I never thought that I would do that as a profession. And so one of my greatest gifts uh, at that time was to become a typist. I had a great uh, teacher in high school, Miss uh, Henry, and she really taught me how to type. So that was one of my biggest thing I wanted to do for the rest of my life, become an executive secretary. But it so happened as I was, uh, being in the in that arena, I graduated with a associate degree in general business administration from Mercy College, and I was pursuing uh, that career. But for some reason, every time I was in a company or whatever it is, the company was either closing down or something else was going on. So some way, something kept telling me that maybe this is not where I needed to be. But at some point I was there for some reasons because of some things that were happening in my life at that time. So I'm at the last company I was at, you know, I said to the Lord, I said, God, I've done what I desire to do. What is it you want me to do? So it just popped into my head. The answer just came immediately, become a teacher. So I never thought about that. And I said, Lord, I don't know if I have the, the, the skill set to do that, you know, because of what was spoken into my life at a very young age and negatives that was spoken into my life. And um, the Lord said to me, don't worry about it. I'll give you all the knowledge you need to do this. It's you, me, you, radio. Me, radio. Touching your Touching. airwaves like something you've never heard before. You, me, radio. Listen to you.